Today I want to discuss my problems with the scanning. Because all of you know that the scanning and the color printing it's just representation of the film, I will try to make exactly the same shot and try to see if something wrong with my film development or it's just a problem with the scanning method and the conversion. From the previous video you probably know I used this pre-ready kit for C41 chemistry and this film was developed and exposed with the normal conditions as ISO 200 and developed with the normal 3 minutes 15 seconds in the first batch. So based on this I'm actually quite curious why I have a, such a horrible scan with the lights and shadows completely off and the color shift is completely off to the cyan channel. To be sure I will make the first print of the negative from the same strip which actually should work fine. For this particular print in the scanning I made a small correction in the cyan channel but on this one I don't really have any problems and only problems with the big grain. But take a look closely on the negative I don't really see any type of errors with the grain and the shot literally looks perfect. Sometimes I really became suspicious about my scanner and the scanning setup and the old conversion method. I think all of these new modern conversions is quite stupid, outdated and create just a lot of junk around the photography. And if you think about it, sometimes even printing from Array 4 is quite faster than to make a scan, especially if you're using flatbed scanner. Not sure about you, but I don't really need these copies of the negative in a digital form from the beginning and especially if you think about it, your first expression from your print and from your photo and how you want to feel it and look it is much more important for you as an artist than to look on the screen and just see the pixels. So I definitely need to find a better solution to make a quick representation of the negative with exactly the same output as Array 4 paper. So I started with the printing of the test strip with the exposure rate with a few seconds and I will make a development and for this type of chemistry from Adox I usually use 1 minute and not 45 seconds because I see it looks a little bit better and the colors pop a little bit more. So you can say I'm a little bit overdeveloped the paper, but in the same time the grades of the temperature for Array 4 chemistry a little bit more higher than the for C41, it can be even one degree off. So let's check the first result of my test print and let's find what is the middle exposure. On a first glance, I already can see my colors is not off, so they are straight on and because I used settings which I normally use for the first test print, which is 70-70-0, I'm quite surprised that the colors spot on and especially on these white fans. And I don't really have any problems with the grain, with the sharpness and the tonal range, especially on the wood is quite nice. So let's put it in my lab book and from there let's start additional experiments and make bigger print. As I said, I make a rendition with a 3 seconds interval, so it means I put the f11 on my diaphragm, on the lens and open up each section of my test printer for 3 seconds. After I choose 6 seconds I will put it in my timer and from there I will make a bigger print with exactly the same settings, so it's 68, 68, 0. And let's see how the bigger print looks like. And I hope it will be all fine and I don't see any problems why it should be not. And I still don't understand how the paper is so forgiving and give you exactly good colors all the time and your digital scans usually need to correct twice longer in time and your digital conversions is just in principle horrible and I don't really understand what is the problem there. Sometimes I'm just thinking to quit scanning altogether and just make a photos of the final print. And probably this is not a bad idea and sometime in future, if I have more time for printing in my life, I can invest a little bit more time in the preparation of the setup like this. For the next round I'm using exactly the same chemistry on the 35 degrees 
and I usually make one wash step and because I have semi-dry darkroom so I don't really have access to the sink and I don't really want one I put all the chemicals in a waste bottle and from there it goes in a recycle or if it's completely diluted it goes in the sink so let's check the first wet prints and trying to understand what is the difference between the prints and the negative scan Nowadays I try to inspect it in wet state and also inspect it in a dry state and actually it's not a big difference on the glossy paper. So I really like the depth and the results what I have from this print. And shadows all there and my highlights extremely there. So let's compare it to the scan from the Negative Lab Pro and my Plastic 135 scanner. I think result is quite close so I just have a more shadow noise and in the shadows it looks a little bit bluish. So from there let's go to the first problematic print. And now I hope it will look more or less reasonable at least from the beginning. So maybe it's a little bit overexposed because it was a bright shiny day. But when I make a first test print I actually don't really see any problems with the negative. So my exposure range what I used was exactly the same. So I start with the 3 seconds interval and f11. And because I have more dense negative than before, my exposure time not 6 seconds, but 9 seconds. So it means my negative a little bit overexposed, probably one stop or something like this. But if I follow exactly the same procedure for the printing, I should get better results with a just small two-step correction for the cyan channel. So for this print, you can see I have all the details, my shadow looks fine, maybe, maybe on the left side it's a little bit cyanish, but actually it's just simple two-point correction in a cyan channel, so you just need to bring up yellow and magenta channel for two points and probably you'll get all the colors back. So that's it for today, I hope you like this video and see you in the next one.